Welcome to the studio here in Kuala Lumpur. We're talking energy access funding today. Welcome, Alakesh. Thank you. We were talking earlier, one billion people in the world don't have access to electricity. How do we solve this? That's right, uh, Russ. Uh, there's a billion people in the world that don't have access to electricity. And uh, most of these people uh, are poor and they live in uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, South, Southeast uh, Asia. Interestingly, um, they live in areas or in regions that are very high in solar resource. Uh, so there's energy, if you talk about energy, there's solar energy. Uh, but the question is, uh, how do you harness that so that it's usable for them? And of course, as we know, solar has become mainstream. Um, it's being used in mega plants all over the world. But here we are talking about distributed generation in remote places. And the challenge has been how to do this at a scale. So that's, that's one of the biggest challenges. And how do you do it in a business model that works for the utility and the energy providers? Exactly right. So uh, now, as a lot of the mini grids, as we call them, which are built uh, to provide energy access, uh, have been done in the past with grants and subsidies, which are all non-scalable. So the key is having a business plan uh, that is uh, something that commercial investors will fund and you are not reliant on subsidies and grants so that you can do as much as possible if the demand is there. So you've managed to raise some significant capital. What are some of the success factors in that? Sure. Yoma Micropower um, was able to close $28 million in funding last year which is perhaps uh, one of the largest in this space. And we did simply with uh, two key points in mind. One is to have a business plan that is uh, scalable and it is commercial. So we have a commercial value proposition to our customers. Even for that poor household, we are trying to provide electricity at a cost below what they're using or paying uh, today. So it's a very commercial uh, proposition to them. And based on that, uh, we are able to do things at a large scale so that it's sustainable. And that's what investors have been able to uh, fund. So modern technology is allowing utilities and energy companies to provide a service without, that isn't charitable. Exactly right. It's uh, not charitable. I think it has to be done for profit. That's the only way you can really do at scale. Um, you know, mini grids have been done with charitable contributions. You can do one or two, 10 or 20, but how do you serve the billion people? And that can only be done uh, for a for-profit uh, business that can be commercially funded. Looking into your crystal ball, what do you see as the big changes in the sector in the next three to five years that will be most influential? I think a lot of these uh, countries and regions, they have an opportunity to leapfrog what I see a change in the power generation industry. We went from monolithic uh, centralized power generation and then distribution to where they will be consumed to a new model that is called distributed generation at the point of consumption, which is enabled by solar. And these countries who don't have the infrastructure already in place have an opportunity to directly jump to the distributed uh, model. Very interesting. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. For more content, be sure to subscribe to our channel.